Hello and welcome to my review of the Vmoda ZN 3 button in-ear monitors. These are Vmoda's latest um, in-ear offerings and they are the first new in-ear product they have released in nearly four years. I picked these up for around 260 Canadian pesos um, to test Vmoda's claims that these compete in the $300 to $1000 price bracket. Opening the box is definitely an experience, but it's not something I really care about when making an audio purchase. I'd rather 10 to 20 bucks knocked off the price tag and a cardboard box. It has a complete set of accessories, um, including many tips, many clips, and a carrying couch, which is complete and definitely nice to see for the price bracket. Um, I found the case was a bit useless and I would have rathered something a little more solid and something that matches my Vmoda XS case. It really doesn't fit in and seems like they're recycling a bit of older design. Taking a look at the design of the actual earbuds, they're completely made of zinc metal with a matte black portion surrounding a silver polished inside. The zinc metal is brilliant because it doesn't feel cold like steel, but it feels solid. Um, which is definitely not something I can say about every single earbud on the market. Um, I initially thought this was plastic because of how it isn't um, conductive to heat, but it totally is not. They really look and feel insane and are something different even if a similar design has been used by Vmoda in the form of the vibrators, um, etc. in the past. The only real new thing on the outside of these is the diamond back cable. Um, it's a bit overbuilt and bulky in my opinion for earbuds, especially ones that are focused on sport use. Um, stuff like the Zinc Y connector is a bit heavier and bulkier than it needs to be. Um, and I feel this portion of cable past the Y connector is a bit thicker than it needs to be. Picky, I know, but um, it's just something that a little bit irked me. Two other parts of the cable I didn't really like were the three button connector and the three and a half millimeter jack. The three and a half millimeter jack is a bit large and the three button connector will brush up against the sport clips when in use. Just comparing this to Vmoda's other three and a half millimeter jacks, it's clear that this is definitely larger than it needs to be. This is not a problem on the one button version, only the three button version has this larger connector and larger remote. So I would recommend going for those. Um, in terms of tangle freeness, um, I'm happy to report that these have not once gotten tangled in nearly a month of stuffing these into random pockets, which is amazing. The tips that come with these earbuds are something that have had me on the fence. I found they're not brilliant for long-term use. They're by no means the Lego brick in the ear feel that Apple ear pods are, um, but I did find I would end up reinserting them if I was using them for periods longer than around 30, 45 minutes. Um, a lot of in-ear monitor manufacturers are also including foam tips nowadays, and I would have liked to see that rather than two sets of silicone tips in different colors. I swapped out the stock tips for Comply uh, TX400s, and while I noticed the base was a little less punchy, I definitely noticed a step up in terms of comfort and long-term usability. These silicone tips are by no means bad, they're just standard silicone tips, there's nothing really redeeming about them. And I'd like to see a little more variety in terms of tips, especially for the price and seeing what their competitors are doing. The sound signature of these earbuds is what shocked me the most. Vmoda is using all new 8mm dynamic drivers with fancy Italian filters. Their departure from the Vmoda XS I already own um, and are definitely my favorite between the two. They're fun to listen to with a vast sound stage for earbuds. Bass response is considerable with present mids and decent treble extension. They shine with my listening of hip hop and rap, but definitely don't disappoint when I listen to some rock such as the Beatles and Donovan. Um, sound signature of these is very versatile and I highly recommend it as a single portable um, audio device. I love these for watching movies and listening to music, which is saying a lot, especially for earbuds. The bottom line is that these are solidly built earphones that have a brilliant sound signature, and I doubt anyone who picks these up will be disappointed. Just get the one button version. And be sure to like and subscribe this video if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.